big one out there. But bloody hell, you didn't think to tell me about Chosen? I thought about it, but then I also thought it'd be more fun to pull a Tavish on you. Not the same. You don't know how to do it, Tavish. Either way, I couldn't risk it getting out. We needed any advantage we could get against them. Well, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I have a message from WWE management. What does Shawn Michaels have to say for himself now? No, not Shawn. This came directly from the top. All this faction warfare has been big for ratings, so they want to see it continue. There will be a faction versus faction match to determine who gets to pick your stipulation at SummerSlam. Our side against Shawn's. War games. We've already been in a battle. I guess now, it's time to go to war. Did you see I'm the number one trending topic? What a WWE debut for Chosen. Yeah, that's great. But more importantly, you helped me live to fight another day. So thank you. Where I've been watching you get beaten up so much, and you seem so desperate when you reach out asking for help that it was kind of a no-brainer to come save you. Yeah. Well, thanks again, I guess. Anyway, I don't know if you heard what Tavish said. I was standing five feet from him. Of course I had. Your two of us is kind of small, actually. Noted. Point is, I need one more team member for the War Games match. You interested in sticking around? Of course. Have to keep the buzz going on social media. And to help you too. Alright. Let's do this.
He's the WWE Champion and he's ready for war. It's Slade. And from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Champion, Slade. There's nothing playful about tonight's war games, Corey. It's pure warfare. Especially if you're facing off against Slade and the nightmarish battalion around him. You can run and you can hide, but you can't evade the new cutthroat Slade. I didn't think it was possible, but the road to SummerSlam keeps getting hotter and hotter, adding explosive twists and turns every week. And incredible athletes like Japanese Phenom Chosen, who's suiting up alongside the former Lock tonight in one of the most anticipated War Games matches in WWE history. Uh, my question, is Chosen even allowed to compete in WWE? All is fair in love and War Games, Saxton. Both foursomes are clearly willing to do whatever it takes with the WWE title match stipulation hanging in the balance. Let the games begin. He's entered a state of distress now. He's just on the wrong side of every maneuver. Bam! Super kick! Wait a second. He's going up the wall. The extreme war games mentality is taking over. Hold your breath. That is just crazy athleticism. Looks like he has the upper hand now. Stringing together some big moves here. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Counting down the seconds until this match becomes a bit lopsided. Oh, right into the cage! Stalking their opponent. What are they going to do here? Oh, knee right to the face. Being let loose to surely become the tide turner for their team. Come on now. Is it not enough that they're already coming in with an advantage here? Is this really necessary? see the anguish growing on his face. He's going to have to dig out of this in a hurry. Looks like the impending numbers advantage isn't enough for him. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. Kick. Things could get ugly now as they head inside the cage. Cranking the head. Busted out an impactful maneuver. Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. Super kick finds the mark. Off the top, Buckles. What's he gonna do? On the top. Just a blazing challenge. Trying to provoke an incredibly rash reaction. Ooh. Oh, man. The next entry incoming to even up the odds. Man, that looks painful. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. He must have seen that coming. Goes down low. What are we about to see here? Cross-legged DDT. What impact. Right in the kisser. And stepping through the door into what is becoming calamity and ruin. Not a place for the faint of heart. To a monkey flip. A face buster knee smash. That looks painful. Brain buster. Nice Ooh. reverse fireman's drop. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Starting to scale up the War Games wall. He's got something in mind. From the top row, beautiful drop kick. Off the rope. Oh, the knee just 
being torn apart now. Slade escapes the attack. Shoulder tackle. Oh. Can't back to the midsection. The American Nightmare playing those mind games, goading the competition. And the balance of power is about to shift with this upcoming entrant. And he's been concentrated on that area throughout this one. He knows every blow there weakens his opposition more each time. The holding cage has been open, and we're about to see a bit of a handicap match here, gentlemen. What a springboard attack. Entering the ring and assessing the situation. Unpacks a well-placed punch. Up for the electric chair, down for the drop. Drop Toho. Vicious right forearm. Sending him all the way over to the next ring. Send him clear into the other ring. to connect on the springboard. Kick to the midsection. Oh, my God! Pure chaos. Carnage and scraps of table everywhere. Taking the brutality of this match to a new level. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better on the opposition. In a War Games match, it's go big or go home. This is one way to do it. And doing it in the steel line trench only adds an extra element of danger to the situation. Things will get back to an even playing field with the next entry. Trapped between the two rings, still beneath your feet. Not a great place to be, gentlemen. And with the next combatant on the way, it looks like things are close to a fair fight once again. To a monkey flip. Got it. Michael, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Entering the ring, and these teams are now in equal standing. No, 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 no. He's had enough. Might be going toward the top of this war game structure. From the top of the cage, there are no words to describe it. Just good. The single arm under him into a nice takedown. Connecting with a standing moonsault. Ooh. Oh. He's right from the cage and sent barreling down. Call the paramedics. This one is just about over. And some effective offense with that one. Confidence on John Cena. The confidence you have when you are the face that runs the place. Counters that. Get it down, Zion, and get ready because this will give one team a greater number of combatants. Look at this. Oh, no! Oh, my God! I can't even wrap my head around what kind of crazy person jumps off the cage like that. He begins to climb the wall of the War Games cage, and that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Things are no longer about to be even in this one, and he wants to make sure of that. No! Into a powerful Running knee lift. Debilitating attack on the leg. And that was a well-executed attack. Slade put a stop to that. Got it. Like that slush hammer can cause some serious damage. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Look at the amount of numbers on each team now. This truly has the potential to become one-sided. And the hits to the core keep coming. Whipped over in a snap suplex. He's in a dangerous situation up there. Where's his head? Oh, disturbing him. Oh, splash! I can't believe the decision to jump off of the top of the cage. I think that was decided before every reach in the top, Saxton. Put this thing away. STF is in. STF is in. We're still doing a lot of damage, though. Oh, down he goes. Oh, what a nasty landing. At the worst possible time, too. Attempting high risk move after high risk move at a breakneck pace. Clock out. STF. STF. Oh, no, no, no. Well placed elbow. 
was a key to escape. Oh, the cage and rushing in to erase the numbers advantage. Precision strikes. Setting him up on the table and see if this pays off. Just tell me what happens. I can't watch. And that was a zoo. So the last competitor means that war from the heavens. Oh, look at him. Broken in half. A hellacious maneuver. Driving him through the table. This guy's going to show you the amount of animosity that is right at this moment. Oh, God. Knee meets face. Ah. Super kick. Looks up their opponent. is trapped. Suplex! More attacks like that will leave you gasping for air. Yeah, it looks like it really is. And we just saw some serious offense. And the brunt of these attacks are focused above the shoulder. It's a very effective and vulnerable spot to target. Was ready for that. He's reached the top, but he's risking moving the whole match if he falls to the outside. It all comes down to this. Win the title at SummerSlam, and you're golden. Set for life, probably. Lose? Eh, uh, well, you're finished. Done. Ruined. Gone forever. What happened to the Tavish who once told me there was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE? I'm trying a different approach. Is it working? Not really. All right. Have you decided what type of match you're going to pick? Because I was thinking... You should choose the safe match. As in, like, the safe choice? I'm not sure what that would even be. No. I mean a new match type I came up with called a safe match. You win by locking your opponent in the safe that you had in your WWE debut. 
everything comes full circle. It's called long-term storytelling, mate. <laughs> Do you love it? I'm not sure. Well, if you can't make up your mind about the match type, we at least need to know who's going to be in your corner. The faction started a pool on who you're going to pick. Go with Chosen, and drinks are on me. I'm going with Chosen, and not for the free drinks. I've had all the momentum since he came in, and I want to keep that going at SummerSlam. I'll be out there with you in spirit. And speaking of spirit, I'm going to collect my pool money in it pub. I'll save you a seat. It's been a bit, but here we are, wrapping things up with SummerSlam approaching. You mean you're not going to follow me around the rest of my career? <sighs> Everything has to come to an end. I mean, I know viewers think they want a super long story that goes on and on forever, but really, isn't something shorter with an actual ending better? It's like, you have this cool experience, and then you can go watch something from the women's division, right? Anyway, we're getting off track. SummerSlam's in LA, of all places. <sighs> I know. It's a chance at redemption on so many levels. I'm back in the main event, but instead of a bunch of empty seats this time, we're the biggest thing in town and it's sold out. It feels good. What about the match stipulation, though? I might be reading into this too much, but are you putting off making a decision because it means the match is officially here, and if you lose, you'll be faced with leaving WWE? Not at all. Despite my recent success, I'm going to need to do everything I can to win. So, I've been keeping the match stipulation to myself as a strategic advantage. Makes sense. But what are you going to choose? You're going to have to announce it sooner than later. If you have to know, I'm going to make it a British rules match. It's what got me back on track after I was fired, and as far as I know, Slade's never been in one. It could be a huge advantage. Solid choice. And if this is it, well, it's been fun. And weird. Mostly fun, though. Hope to see you around. Around here, I mean. Yeah. You too, Kat. So final thoughts heading into SummerSlam. Will you walk away champion and end your former friend's WWE career? Or will he somehow overcome the odds and beat the deadline? <laughs> Are those the type of questions you typically ask? If so, I'm glad I haven't wasted my time doing more of these. But if you need an answer, The Lock is going to be looking for a job after SummerSlam. And let's get one thing straight. We were never friends. But I will take this opportunity to thank him. See, if he hadn't been such a failure, and blown every opportunity that was handed to him, I might not be where I am today. So thanks for that. Confident, despite the fact that you didn't get to even choose the match stipulation. I don't care what kind of match it is. It could be a blindfold match, a, a, a lumberjack match, or a freaking padlock on a pole match for all I care. They all end the same. I win. Hey. We're on a tight schedule, so we need to make a call, one way or another. <sighs> Understood. No idea why Shawn Michaels' supergroup is assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed. Bear with us. We have some business to take care of what is going on here I have a bad feeling about this I know we talked this over but now that we're out here it doesn't feel right Slade we've been over this already just do the right thing I can win the match at SummerSlam just give me the chance it's been decided we're going with Randy instead. So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward.
I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will. For starters, the night The Lock returned to WWE, you overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or how about the time you got beat down backstage, which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place. Or, more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost, allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately, losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. But you know who's all about winning and is a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that, or we'll make the decision for you. Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, no, no. He, he's going to do it. This is absolutely disgusting. What a farce. And here comes the referee to count the pinfall. What a joke. And Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion. Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see a WWE Championship change hands like this, but here we are. You did the right thing. Look, I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger had game plan to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder in my opinion.